So in your 17 Court Watch tonight, from our follow-up file, we have a startling development in the case of Robert Forbes, the Black Lives Matter protester killed just over three months ago when he was hit by a car. The driver, who's the subject of an ongoing police investigation, is dead. Reportedly killed in Baja, Mexico this past weekend. Cause at this time not yet known. 17's Robert Price has more on this bizarre twist in the case of Timothy Keith Moore. Bakersfield police have been poring over technical data, including traffic signal video, for about three months now, trying to determine any possible intent by the driver who struck Robert Forbes the night of June the 3rd. They can pretty much stop now. The man behind the wheel, Timothy Keith Moore, has been killed, his sister confirmed Wednesday afternoon exclusively for 17 News. Alicia Moore, who established a GoFundMe account to cover expenses to bring her brother's remains home from Mexico, told 17 News off camera from behind a black metal mesh door that Keith Moore died Saturday. What he was doing in Mexico and how he was killed, she said she didn't know, saying, quote, I wasn't there. But in the narrative accompanying her fundraising page, Alicia Moore wrote that a U.S. Department of State official told her, quote, usually when it's a murder case in Mexico, they do not allow cremation, so we will have to have him shipped back here. Why would anyone want Keith Moore dead? We have no answers tonight, but we do know this. Moore was arrested in February by San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's deputies on numerous drug charges, concluding a year-long narcotics trafficking investigation. Moore, 41 at the time, was charged with trafficking narcotics directly from Mexico. Deputies say they seized methamphetamine, heroin, fentanyl, and handguns. However, Moore's sister in that GoFundMe post said specifically that, quote, no, he was not killed by a drug cartel. Moore was due in court in San Luis Obispo for a pre-preliminary hearing next Tuesday. Instead, his sister and others are trying to raise money to bring his body home. Moore's car struck protest marcher Robert Forbes on June 3rd on California Avenue just east of Oak Street. And as of last week, investigators said they were still looking into the possibility of a purposeful act on Moore's part. Two witnesses told Bakersfield police they believed Moore may have hit Forbes on purpose. One said he believed Moore accelerated as he approached the protesters. But according to BPD, other witnesses at the scene said Moore did not appear to accelerate. Video from nearby stationary cameras indicated Moore was not speeding, his lights were on, and he didn't leave the scene of the accident, police said. He also was not under the influence. But complicating matters was the fact that Moore had tattoos that might associate him with white nationalist groups. The Forbes family's attorney, Amar Shergill of Sacramento, said Wednesday the family still was waiting for more information on Moore's death and he would reserve comment. Moore's sister Alicia said in her GoFundMe post that her brother had a lot of ups and downs in his life, but he had some good friends and she needs those friends now to step forward to help them bring her brother home. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.